All right, guys, getting right into it. I'm going to be using two pieces of 22 gauge round wire, about four inches long, five inches long, whatever, and some round nose, some flat nose pliers, and then some wire snips. It's a simple project, it's going to be quick, and we're going to be switching between the flat nose and the round nose quite often. So let's jump right into it. Starting with the flat nose pliers, we're going to go ahead and at one end with two centimeters of space, create a 90 degree bend and grab our round nose pliers and grab the tip of that excess wire and bend it around itself two times. As we're forming this earring, we're going to make sure to flatten it, keep our shape, before we continue. Now we're going to make our first bend, and we're just going to make it so that the wire touches the inner loop and goes right past it. From here, using our flat nose pliers, we're going to tuck it to the end between the loop and the wire we just bent, grabbing the wire we just bent and use our finger to push the end of the wire to the center loop just like we did for the last side. Once you've got it here, you're going to cut a little extra. Then we're going to bend that inward to make the final end of the triangle. Then you just tuck it in and you're done. Now we can make the second one to match. If you uh, already, if you think you got it down, just go ahead and skip through this. If you want to watch it, go ahead, watch it to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and more tutorials are on the way. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. So you made it to the end, I've got one more little thing to show you with these earrings. I've got these little rubber backings that I picked up uh, when I was in Spain actually, and so that's what I'm using. And you can see they just fit right on there, and they're nice and snug. So if you can get some little rubber backings from like Michaels or something, you'll be good. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.